you know, I, I've kind of come to the sense of reality that I might be stateless for the rest of my life. And being stateless to me means that I'm my, I'm just, I don't exist in the eyes of the government. I wasn't, you know, I wasn't able to go to school. I wasn't able to get loans. You know, it took me the five times to apply to FAFSA to realize I wasn't eligible for it. I couldn't get a college degree. Um, you know, before DACA, I was fired from jobs. I was let go. I didn't, couldn't have the opportunities I wanted. You know, had I had, you know, I, you know, I had this conversation with my husband, like, man, I wish I had all this. I wish I wasn't stateless and I wish I could have done. But I think when you're, you know, I'll be 30 next year and it's, it, he, he made a really good point. You can't live your life like I could have been if I had. It's almost like you have to live your life with what you have. And I'm very grateful for the experiences I've had. But I don't want to be stateless forever because I want to have the freedom just to be a citizen of somewhere. I don't want to have my existence or my place of living to be threatened. Um, right now, I'm living in America and I participate in American society. I feel like I'm a valuable asset to the community here. I love my community. I believe in the community. And I feel that my life essentially is on the hands of other people, right? You know, what is Trump going to do tomorrow? Like, what is, what is he going to do? It's very scary. If I don't have DAC anymore, that's going to go away. I don't have a means to work anymore. And that's, I don't want to live a life where I can't work. That's, that's, I don't want to be dependent on my husband's income. I want to be my own person, right? Um, I don't want to be stateless for the rest of my life. And I don't want to have to leave the United States to become a citizen elsewhere. I want to be here. I think I've, I think I deserve that. I think it's, there's, I don't want to be deported. I want to be here.